let g of x equal 1 over x. Can we use the intermediate value theorem to say that there is a value c such that g of c is equal to zero and negative one is less than or equal to c is less than or equal to one? If so, write a justification. So in order to even use the intermediate value theorem, you have to be continuous over the interval that you care about. And this interval that we care about is from x equals negative one to one. And one over x is not continuous over that interval. It is not defined when x is equal to zero. And so we could say no, because, because g of x not defined, not defined, or I could say, let me just say not continuous. It's also not defined on every point of the interval, but let's say not continuous over the closed interval from negative one to one. And we could even put parentheses, not defined, not defined at x is equal to zero. All right, now let's start asking the second question. Can we use the intermediate value theorem to say that the equation g of x is equal to 3 fourths has a solution where one is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to two? If so, write a justification. All right, so first let's look at the interval. If we're thinking about the interval from one to two, well, yeah, our function is going to be continuous over that interval. So we could say g of x is continuous, is continuous on the closed interval from one to two. And if you wanted to put more justification there, you could say g defined, defined for all real numbers, real numbers such that x does not equal zero, x does not equal zero, I could write g of x defined for all real numbers such that x does not equal to zero. And you could say rational functions like one over x are continuous, are continuous at all points in their domains, at all points in their domain. That's going really establishing that g of x is continuous on that interval. And then we want to see what values does g take over at, or what values does g take on at the end points, or actually these are the end points that we're looking at right over here. g of one is going to be equal to one over one is one, and g of two is going to be one over two, is equal to one over two. So three fourths is between is between g of one and g of two. So by the intermediate value theorem, there must be an x, there must be an x that is, that is in the interval from, we're talking about the interval from one to two, one to two, such that, such that g of x is equal to three fourths. And so, yes, we can find, we can use the intermediate value theorem to say that the equation g of x is equal to three fourths has a solution. And we are done.